Joel Embiid had a career game against the Knicks yesterday, but it wasn't without controversy. At face value, when you look at Joel Embiid's performance, you see a nice big 50 piece, something that only a handful and only the greatest playoff performers and risers can do. And even though it was in Joel Embiid fashion, putting up 21 free throw attempts, he still did it. And that's something that as hard as it is for me to do, you have to give him credit for. Because the 76ers finally won this game, a game that is very much needed after two crushing blows in New York. You had a lot of people talking about how the Knicks haven't been playing their best brand of basketball. Jalen Brunson hasn't been the best, at least in their first couple games. And the fact that they took both of those games, things were looking rocky for the 76ers. I mean, even myself, I have the Knicks taking the series and it was looking really nice until tonight's game. But the reality behind this Joel Embiid performance is that it was truly one of the most disgusting and terrible performances of all time. And no, I'm not saying that because he got to the free throw line or because maybe he stat padded some rebounds or whatever. No, Joel Embiid was a dirty player in this game. And the only reason why I say in this game and not overall a dirty player is because I don't think there's enough history from Joel Embiid to be known as a dirty player. But in this game, things were bad. We have this nice tweet here from IQ for three uh, that basically shows us exactly what we're going to be talking about, which is Joel Embiid being the dirtiest player we have seen all playoffs. I guess he's lucky that Draymond Green isn't in this year. And yeah, I feel like I can't really say much until we watch it. So let's go ahead and just hop right in. Why don't we? I did it to get hot tonight physicality already off the charts oh. and now the officials for the third time in this quarter are going to go to the replay monitor this is one of the biggest problems i have with this game and a lot of people had obviously as you should right joel Embiid being a guy that has gone through so many leg injuries and injuries that could have actually ended his career he's actually going through a leg injury right now to see him then go on the floor and take out somebody else's legs really shows you just kind of what Embiid's thought process is. And you know why he did this? Because he's upset he didn't get a call on the other end of the floor. But the call that he wanted to get was on him flopping. I don't understand the, the, the psyche behind this guy. And you see him in his post-game interview sit there and talk about how, hey man, I've been through a lot of leg injuries and a lot of injuries overall, so I'm just trying to protect myself because I didn't want him to injure me. What the fuck are you talking about? You can't be serious right now. You know how I know that Joel Embiid wasn't doing this to protect himself or he wasn't like putting his hands up or maybe just grabbing onto his leg a little bit so he didn't get hit? Because as soon as Mitchell Robinson falls down, Joel Embiid pushes him he pushes him off of his body almost saying yo you know what get the fuck out of my way because i didn't get my call last time it is terrible and you know how the officials go about this flagrant one this is one of the most intentional and dirty plays that could have seriously injured mitchell robinson and mitchell robinson actually ended this game injured because of joel Embiid. we'll get to that here in a bit and he only gets a flagrant one and you know why you know why you get a flagrant one for stuff like this because during game two of this same exact series you had a lot of questionable calls actually two specific calls near the end of the game that the side of the game that went against the 76ers and the 76ers went and complained to the league and said hey we're not getting the calls you're, you're calling everything for the Knicks but not for us and the league came back to them and said you know what I'm so sorry and they rewarded the 76ers with 21 goddamn free throws and shit like this where Joel Embiid doesn't get punished he doesn't get ejected from the game nothing like that just a flagrant one how fucking ridiculous is that Hardstein continues to do such a great job the most blatant tackle you have ever seen on Isaiah Hardenstein. And guess what? The official that is sitting right there doesn't say shit. They needed to wait an extra five seconds to see Isaiah Hardenstein on the ground to then go and review it. Number 15, I don't know who you are or how much they are paying you, but you have done one hell of a job at being the worst fucking official I've ever seen in my life. Play it one more time. Play it one more time. Hardenstein continues to do such a great job. How the fuck do you not see that? How do you not even see Isaiah Hardenstein on the ground and, and maybe question yourself and say, how, well, how did he end up there? Anyways, let's keep moving forward. Opportunistic never assumes a play is over and able to get that deuce. Words cannot describe how I feel about this play. And, and the officials are standing right there and this is in one of the most crucial parts of the game i'm pretty sure there was a minute and a half left and the knicks were down by like seven points so this is something that had that have been a turnover and the knicks got possession could have changed the entire game that could have changed everything and i know exactly what 76ers fans are saying right now they're saying well that's exactly how we felt during game two when there should have been a foul called on you know tight or the foul call on the tug of Tyrese Maxey's jersey, which is true. Don't get me wrong, but this, I, 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 I can't, I can't, because you 
have to pick one or the other, right? You can't say that this one should be called and the other one couldn't, or the other one should have been called. And so that makes this one fair. You can't really put that argument into any sort of terms. This next play is the one that actually had Mitchell Robinson end up in a boot when walking out of the arena. Second bucket for Brunson. He's got five. I don't really know if this was on Joel Embiid. To me, it looks like Dante DiVincenzo just got in the way to go for the double and, you know, collision kind of happened. Didn't really seem like a dirty play from Joel Embiid, just kind of playing physical. Really unfortunate though for the Knicks and Mitchell Robinson that, you know, he went down with that and lost his shoe. I'm pretty sure that's the play that caused the injury. I could be wrong. Another thing that we learned from this game or after this game, I guess you could say, is that Joel Embiid has been suffering from Bell's palsy. Something that explains his entire blinking situation. I don't know if you remember. I'm pretty sure it was in game one where he bounced the ball off the backboard and dunked it and hurt his leg and there was that overhead camera view where you could see his eyes and it was all kind of wonky and you're like what the fuck is happening with Joel Embiid well we know now apparently he wanted to keep a secret because he didn't want to distract his teammates from what was happening in the playoffs and of course as soon as that knowledge gets to woes you know it's going to be the most secretive thing there is uh obviously just kidding Woj tweeted that shit out within seconds so yeah I feel like a main reason as to why I wanted to make this video is because no one seems to be talking about Joel Embiid grabbing Mitchell Robinson's leg it seems like because he scored 50 that has kind of taken the spotlight in this entire situation and the entire story of this game which i think is wrong joel Embiid scored 50 granted it was the most boring and lame 50 points i've ever seen in my life and honestly i cannot wait for them to get eliminated in the playoffs but the fact that we're not really seeing this play be mentioned at all and instead we're just praising joel for going out and dropping 50 little crazy to me obviously he should get his flowers because he did put up 50 no matter what i say no matter how boring i think it is whatever he's also doing it out there while being insanely injured and also suffering through something that no one else really knew about and you know he had to deal with that personally he's going through a lot of things but i also don't think that should like hide the fact that you did a ton of dirty plays in this game and you were being very physical so let me know down in the comments what you guys think if you did enjoy be sure to like and subscribe and if you didn't see my last video go check that one out as well okay i put a lot of time into it all right i appreciate it thank you guys so much see you guys in the next one later